Here, Mr. Gower, telegram. Ah, oh, my son died in the war! George, come over here. Deliver these pills to the sick kid. Get out of here. Why didn't you deliver those pills? You had one job! Oh, <laughs> Mr. Gower, that's my bad ear! I know you didn't mean it! You made a mistake with those pills! I know you didn't mean it! It was poison! I tell you, poison! Come here! I'm sorry, Mr. Gower! I'm sorry, George! In the light of the buffalo. I'd like to that moon for you. I'd take it. Yeah, maybe one day we could even go live in that rickety old house over there. Wow, <laughs> gee. You'll have to come and get it first. No. <laughs> no, give it back to me. Give it back, George. Give it back. You'll have to come and get it. <laughs> Say, George, your dad's had a stroke. Oh, no. I pronounce you husband and wife. George, let me buy the Bailey savings and loan. Take that pretty young wife of yours. Go see the world. It's only holding you back, George. Yes, maybe. Wait a minute, no! You're a warped, frustrated old man, Mr. Potter! I'm not gonna do it! I'm not gonna give you anything! Forget it, Mr. Potter! Uncle Billy, make sure you get a pause on this money, okay? All right. Oh. Ah, those Bailey boys are doing okay. <laughs> Read up on it. <laughs> Give me your chat. Give me your chat. <laughs> Mr. Potter, you've got to help me. There's nothing I can, there's nowhere else I can turn. I told you this would happen, George. That delinquent uncle of yours missed the payment, is it? I'm afraid I can't grant you an extension. You should have sold me the Bailey savings and loan while you had the chance, George Bailey. Now you'll be nothing. No! Where are you going to run to, George Bailey? Oh, what's 
the matter with you? I'm sick. Oh, well, you just sit here and feel better, okay? <laughs> here. Well, what are these? Fix it. Okay, I'll fix them, my little ginger snap. Hello? Oh, yes, she's doing just fine. What is that? There's a teacher. Give me that. Hey, what? This is just a teacher? What? What? Don't you think she has enough sense to do up her coat? She's doing really Sorry. sick. What kind of teacher? What kind of teacher are you? She hung up. Well, of course she did. George Bailey, what'll it be? Uh, George Bailey? Yeah. You pathetic old bully. My wife cried for an hour. Oh, that's what I get for praying. Worth more dead than alive. I'm at my wit's end. It's his wings. Get out of here, you bum! Hey, wait a minute. That, that's Mr. Gower. He's a pillar of the community. You can't pillar talk to him. Pillar of the community? Not after he killed that kid ten years ago? You're such good friends with him. You get out of here, too. Uh, and stay out! Well, thanks, mister. Whoever you are. Whoever I am, I'm George Bailey. What's going on in this crazy town? Nobody recognizes me. Well, George, you weren't around to switch those pills all those years ago. You were never born. My wife is a librarian. No! Shh. Oh, hey, George. My friend is a prostitute. No! Give me my family back! I want to live! What? But, but our lives touch each other in ways that you can't even imagine. When you were never born, it left a, it left a giant hole in many people's lives. Our lives touch each other in ways you can't even imagine.